My name is Dr. Paul Torkelson. I was director of choral activities at Wartburg College for 25 years, starting in approximately 1984, uh, 85 school year, and then through for 25 years, as I said, I was in charge of Christmas with Wartburg throughout that particular time, both from the standpoint of the uh, of the musical end of it and also uh, involved heavily in the logistical aspects. Obviously, Christmas Wartburg had changed a lot since I had been a student there. Uh, I was a student in 1972 to the 1976, after which I went on to grad school, uh, taught for a few years in public school, then went on to grad school. And in that transition time, uh, Dr. James Fritchell, and I'm sure um, this was also heavily influenced by, uh, by the president at that point, uh, decided that they wanted to expand uh, Christmas Wartburg itself. And so its main emphasis when I was a student was what we called the Christmas Carol Buffet. And that was a series of dinners that were served in the cafeteria for the general public. You would buy tickets and then come in and then the choir was split up into four groups. Uh, so approximately 15 to 20 people in each particular group. And they would go around and entertain. We would, we as student conductors were the ones responsible for, for making the music. And then we got to choose the costumes that we wanted to dress up. And sometimes it was somewhat sophisticated. Sometimes it was downright stupid, but that's where it didn't matter. The people were enjoying it and we sang Christmas carols and silly music and, and everything else. But that was the main emphasis of what Christmas with Wartburg was. And then after all of that was done, there was a program that was held over in Newman Auditorium, but it was a very, not a very particularly large program. Uh, there were several groups from the campus that were involved, but it wasn't the main emphasis. That was more of the dinner. I probably had been at Christmas at Wartburg, I don't know, at that point, probably five or six years. And I remember the time they had put, they had moved the podium for where I stand to conduct, which like uh, Dr. Lee would be standing or, you know, whomever would be conducting. Lee, uh, you know, but Lee, for example, when he's conducting uh, the various groups. And they had moved it out into the audience in Newman. And I remember getting up on that during the hymn sing, when the hymns were being sung, and going up there and standing and turning to the audience. And it was really a moving moment because it wasn't perfect. You know, some, some had really great voices, others maybe not so great, but that's okay. But they were doing it with a lot of enthusiasm because they were joining in something that they actually believed in, that moved them. They wanted to be a part of that, you know, and to hear them singing Joy to the World or whatever it happened to be at the top of their lungs was, was pretty powerful. And so I have a really strong memory of that kind of participation where you think, here's a community that has a soul. They sing and they sing from their hearts. The Lutheran College traditions is something that most of us, while we were a part of it either as a student or as a faculty member or whatever, is something that we, be honest with you, sort of take for granted. Everybody does this. This is what everybody does. This is how it works everywhere. And truthfully, that's not the case. And when people see this sort of thing, their reaction is one of astonishment. How big was the school? <laughs> is, are all the students singing? <laughs> you know, are they all there? No, no, a lot of them aren't. It said it's a strong tradition. I said, if you look at the Lutheran choral tradition around the country, it is something unique. It's something to be proud of. It doesn't happen in all places, but 
because of the very nature of the community, it still exists. And it is something that I'm still quite proud of to have been a part of that. One of my colleagues the other day said, hey, I was fishing around on YouTube the other day uh, looking for a recording of such and such. He said, and I came across a recording of you with the Warper Choir. And, I, and you know, and I was like, oh yeah, okay, what was it? And he was telling me, he said, wow, it sounded really great. And I had, I said, oh yeah, that was that year. And then I started thinking about the students who were part of it and where we were and, and all of those sorts of things. He said, that must have been fascinating to be part of that tradition. And I said, you know, the worst part is you take it for granted when you're there. And then when you're not, you suddenly realize that was something special. But if you can remind yourself of that and look back on it, it's something that never quite leaves you. And I guess if I were to sum up all of this, there's still, I carry a bit of that at the beginning of December, every season, I still have a bit of the Christmas of Wartburg spirit that is still with me. If we leave that with the students and the community, then we really have done something special worth worthwhile.